pouring water over the top. Whoa. I just want you to grow. Perfect pair of pants in all aspects. Okay, it's currently Saturday morning and I look like a mess because I just woke up. First thing I do is always have to make my coffee. So I made some of my Cafe du Monde like I do every single morning. I don't like to use a coffee maker because I think my French drip makes better coffee. I shouldn't be talking before I have coffee. I'm gonna drink this until I wake up and I can act like a normal human being. It's about an hour later, so it's 6.30. The sun is still not up, so I pulled out my ring light here. Last week was a semi-hydro flush day, so that's where I go through all of my plants. I pulled them out of their pots, like so. And I will, whoa. I will flush the pot with water, then I will refill all of their nutrients. Since I did that last week and I do flush days every two weeks, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my semi-hydro playlist. I have an entire playlist of a bunch of videos that basically explains the entire process of semi-hydro. This week is my favorite because it's very easy. All I have to do is pull the plant out, take a look to see how much water is in it, and fill it up if necessary with just water so in here is just water a lot of people ask me what kind of water i use i used to do the whole filtered water thing and then i got lazy so now i only use tap water i have not noticed any difference since using tap water versus filtered water yeah so there's no nutrients in here this plant has been growing so nicely some people might freak out that the roots have grown like that right because it's dipping in water but since they are roots that have been growing in semi-hydro I don't worry about that they've been acclimated to water so it's not gonna rot when I say top off the water and there is nutrient water from the last week so I am just gonna pour some through the top and that looks like it's about one third again. So the water originally is around here with the nutrient water. When it goes down over the week, I just fill it back up with just plain water, which is what I just did. So I am gonna go through and do this with all of the plants. I just eyeball everything. After you've been doing it for a while, you'll know how much water to put in. So that's good. If the look at the very top is not wet, if it doesn't appear to look wet, I wouldn't worry as long as there's water in the reservoir. Obviously, if there's no water in the reservoir, that means your plant is not getting the water and nutrients. But there's been times when I accidentally let it dry out and nothing happened to them. Yeah, just figure out what works for you, the schedule that works for you. I like to check on my plants and I also do prophylactic plant sprays. So I'll spray down my plant. Okay, a lot of people have this misconception that because it's in semi-hydro, it's impossible to get pests. In my videos, I said there's a reduced risk of pests. That's not to say that it's impossible to ever get pests again. During one of my flush days, I put this plant back in here without any nutrient water before because I was going through all of my plants that day and I totally forgot and luckily my plant was fine when I finally realized it. Last week when I did my new plant growth video, I don't think it had this leaf, my silver sword. So it's growing so tall, it's so pretty, oh my gosh. Definitely one of my favorite plants. For some of them, I'll just pour in the water and I won't even pull it out again just because I pretty much know how much I need to put in. Some plants that I might check a little bit more often are these smaller plants. So anything that's in a smaller pot, like a four inch versus a six to eight inch pot, the four inch ones, just like being in soil, are gonna dry out faster than something that's in a larger container. So just keep that in mind if you don't want your plants to completely dry out. So we're about our new home. As some of you might know, we switched the floor plan or house that we originally were getting when I first announced we were going to move into a new place. So that move-in date was for October. Once we switched homes, the new move-in date was for January. And then it was pushed back from January to early February. And just this week, I learned that the date is pushed back again as the house is being built. Now the new move-in is sometime mid-February. I really hope it doesn't get pushed back another time. I'm happy that this little guy, my Raphidophora, put out another leaf. It looks like it's a juvenile leaf. There's no funky fenestrations in it, but at least it has a second leaf. Come on, little dude. Get it together. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so this plant, this is my variegated syngonium and it's a beautiful plant. In the unboxing, I mentioned I'm worried because it has too much white and I was right to worry because as you can see, each stem is like completely white and then it keeps putting out really white variegated leaves but over time, it starts to die off because the white part cannot photosynthesize. It sticks around for a while but then it's not growing any larger because it'll put out a new leaf like these are new beautiful and all but then they'll start to die off after a while <sighs> i never thought i would want a variegated plant to put out more green leaves like can you please not there's so many new leaves that come out completely white i just want you to grow so i've talked about this on my stories before my instagram stories i've talked about how i get pretty nervous still whenever i post something that's not completely plant related so on my youtube whenever i do that i tend to try to put it with something that is partly plant related i enjoy doing other things than plants and i know that i've gotten good feedback saying that i should post whatever i want to post and i will i do that anyways even though i know that my minimalist videos don't do as well as my other videos about plants but I still continue to do it because that's what I like to talk about that's part of my life but I still get nervous whenever I post this stuff seeing me do this don't you see what I mean about the maintenance it's just so much easier I didn't have to bring all of these guys to the sink I'm pouring water over the top it's just with the flush days it's kind of more work because you have to mix the nutrients and stuff once you get used to it, you can do it pretty quickly. I don't know how much nutrients you need to put in, which that depends on a lot of things. It depends on your plants, your goals, where you are in the sigma hydro cycles. That's what I mean by topping off the plants with just water in between flush days. Very simple. I got this pair of jeans last week from Madewell. This is their 10 inch high rise skinny jeans. If you follow me on Instagram, then I've talked about my struggle with any pants. Either I had to choose between it fitting my thighs or my butt or my waist because usually right here is where it would gap a ton, but it's perfect. And I love how Madewell is way more sustainable now. So I actually brought in the pair of jeans that I wanted to replace. So I brought in that pair of jeans and then I got $30 off of this pair of jeans. And I absolutely love it, but I'm very short. And I'm gonna bring this to get it hemmed. <laughs> my morning routine for my weekends are so boring. It's plant care, which I mean, I like the plant care. And then usually laundry. <laughs> I put myself together and I am headed out now. I am gonna bring this bag so I can fit my jeans in there actually because I don't want to bring another bag. So I'm just gonna bring these jeans in. Now that I'm out to my car I can speak at a normal volume. I hope during that entire clip I did not sound like I was bored because I wasn't. I was just trying to be respectful and oh geez the lighting sucks. Oh by the way the trick to having less clothing. You know, I wear, wear really basic things, but I always am in like athleisure clothing. So this top is from Free People and it's actually a workout top, but you can also wear it as a normal top, which I do. And then I'm wearing Lululemon black aligned leggings. So it's perfect for running errands. And then later I'm gonna go to the gym with my husband. So it's just one whole outfit for the day. Yeah, so that's the plan. I actually like to work out during the daytime, but I am gonna wait for my husband for when he wakes up. I still haven't eaten yet. I don't usually eat until noonish or later. Not that I intermittent fast or anything. I just don't have an appetite really in the mornings. I'm gonna start driving and I'm gonna finally go to Madewell, like I said I would. Okay, so I don't know how exciting any of the footage I got today is because honestly, I started this all at like 5.30 in the morning. That took two seconds just to go into Madewell. The girl was so nice. She had me try on the pants so she could pin it, and if you are a loyalty member or something like that, which is free, then you can hem any of your pants from Madewell for free. So after I originally bought the pants, which I bought this pair of jeans in a regular fit, so not 
not petite because I didn't think there was a petite. And then later when I looked for it online, I saw they had a petite option, which they don't have in stores. The girl said that I would have been too petite for the petite anyways because it would have been only two inches shorter. But as you can see from the footage, I need a good chunk cut off of those pants. I will get my pants back. It's actually going to be mailed to me so I don't have to come pick it up. She said estimating about a week and a half from now. Once I get it back, those will be the perfect pair of pants in all aspects. That's exciting. I'm going to head home now and I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. Let's see what time it is now. It is 11.59. So I am going to head home and probably have some chia seed pudding. It's so easy to make. It's healthy and it tastes really good. So I'm probably going to have that and I can show you that and hopefully this footage is not too boring for you guys. Check in at home. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!